Yo, what is going on, A-Push peeps? We got a good one for you today. This is on the Progressive Era. This is updated for the new curriculum, and I'm going to cover everything you need to know about the Progressive Era to succeed in A-Push. Before we begin, you know it's shout-out time. Got to give shout-outs to Ms. Collins' class in Massachusetts, Mr. Mayer's class in Washington, and Mr. Jordan's class at Walsingham Academy. Best of luck. Thank you all for watching, and good luck in May. Okay, we'll start with a brief intro to the Progressive Era. This is the early 20th century till about 1920. And reasons for the emergence of this era, straight from the curriculum, is political corruption, as seen in this very famous political cartoon, The Bosses of the Senate, economic instability, and social concerns as well. So how to fix these three issues? Well, progressives wanted increased government action. Characteristics of progressives, this is something you will absolutely positively have to know, be able to identify and explain them in a short answer if necessary. They tended to be middle and upper class, many women, and they favored expanding democracy. So the 17th Amendment, this is the direct election of senators, and the 19th Amendment is women's suffrage. Those were done on a national level. On state and local levels, you have things like the initiative, where individuals can propose laws. Referendum, where individuals can vote on laws, and a recall, where individuals can remove an elected official. And that's how this dude, Arnold Schwarzenegger, became governor or the governor of California because Gray Davis, the governor of California, was recalled. Okay, some progressive journalists that you should know. They criticize political corruption, such as Lincoln Steffens' The Shame of Cities, which criticized municipal or city governments. Social and economic inequality was a focus of Jacob Reese's How the Other Half Lives. And Ida B. Wells Barnett, she advocated, she was a famous journalist that advocated an end to lynchings of African Americans. And finally, Upton Sinclair's The Jungle focused on working conditions in the meat packing industry. Key progressive reformers, you should know, Robert LaFollette, governor of Wisconsin. He was... Instrumental in bringing the direct primary initiative, referendum, and recall to Wisconsin. This is known as the Wisconsin idea. Jane Adams, holy cow, know her. She is the founder of the Whole House in Chicago. This house was a settlement house that aided women, children, and immigrants, helped them assimilate and adapt to American society. Florence Kelly worked with Jane Adams, and she advocated increased rights for women, children, and African Americans. And she was instrumental in the founding of the National Consumer League, which led boycotts of goods made by children. W.E.B. Du Bois demanded an immediate end to segregation and wanted full equality for African Americans. And he helped form a group called the Niagara Movement, formed in Niagara Falls, Canada. Here he is in the center. And that helped morph into the NAACP, a civil rights organization that is still around today. and will play a very instrumental role in the civil rights movement in the 1950s. Progressive presidents to know, Roosevelt Square Deal, this focused on consumer protection, such as the Meat Inspection Act, corporate regulation, such as the Northern Securities Decision, which broke up J.P. Morgan's company, and the Hepburn Act, which increased the power of the ICC, the Interstate Commerce Commission, and he also was big on conservation of natural resources. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Taft was the real trust buster, more so than Roosevelt, but he had a falling out with Roosevelt that led Roosevelt, that led to Roosevelt running for president in 1912. And here are the two fighting over different issue. Wilson's new freedom. He wanted lower tariffs. Remember, he was a Democrat. Democrats want to see tariff rates decrease. He eliminated trust, wanted to eliminate trust with no distinction between good or bad trust, unlike Teddy, who did have a distinction between good and bad trust. Clayton Antitrust Act strengthened the Sherman Antitrust Act and exempted unions. And he wanted to reform the banking system through the Federal Reserve Act. Some progressive amendments you should know. 16th Amendment, this is a graduated income tax. 17th Amendment is the direct election of senators. And connect this, if you're writing or you see this on a multiple choice question, connect this to the populist era. These were goals of the populist party. The 18th Amendment is the prohibition of alcohol. And the 19th Amendment is women's suffrage. And you see here with this political cartoon titled The Awakening, a lot of Western states granted suffrage to women first, and then it moved eastward to the whole country with the 19th Amendment. Okay, conservation and preservation. Two terms you should know. Conservation advocated the proper use of nature and resources so humans could use the wilderness. An example of this is Teddy Roosevelt. Preservation 
is protecting nature and land from humans, keeping humans out of the wilderness. And this is something that was advocated by John Muir in the Sierra Club. And I do have a video titled Conservation and Preservation in the Progressive Era with much more details. Some test tips will finish up with multiple choices, short answer, characteristics and goals of progressives. Definitely know the characteristics and their goals. You can see an actor from a book. Maybe it's the jungle. Maybe it's how the other half lives. Conservation versus preservation. Definitely know it. For essays, analyzing the extent to which the pre progressive era fostered change for different groups or the government. That could be change for African Americans, change for women, change for the government on the federal and state levels. And you could also see comparing and contrasting progressives with either the populace or another era, perhaps the New Deal, which we'll get to later. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Best of luck on all your exams, especially the one in May. And have a good day.